Hi there. Real quick before we jump into the episode. If you enjoy this episode or any of the other episodes, be sure to give us a follow or subscribe. It would also be great if you shared it with a friend or better yet, left a review so others can know how awesome it is. Thanks so much. And now, the episode. Hey there, Press Starters, and welcome to the Press Start Leadership Podcast, the podcast about game-changing leadership, teaching you how to get the most out of your product and development team and become the leader you were meant to be. Leadership coaching and training for the international game industry professional. Now, let me introduce you to your host, the man, the myth, the legend, Christopher Mifsud. Hey there, Press Starters, and welcome back to another episode of the Press Start Leadership Podcast. On this week's episode, we'll be discussing the secret to being a voice for the voiceless. Be a voice for the voiceless, using your leadership powers for good. If you're a leader in any capacity, one of your key responsibilities is taking care of people in your charge. This encompasses many duties, but one of them should be giving a voice to the voiceless. Too many people, through underrepresentation or systemic oppression, have not been allowed a voice and have not been truly heard. If you're in a position of leadership, people listen to you, and you have influence you can use to help others. Make the choice to lift up marginalized voices around you. Here are six ways you can help give voice to others. Number one, create a safe environment to speak up. Encourage folks from marginalized groups to speak up and speak more. Say, tell me more about it, then actively listen. Also, don't let any bad apples discourage people from speaking up. Number two, don't speak for them. Instead of paraphrasing or assuming, Let people speak for themselves. If you're in a private conversation and someone has a good idea, ask them to share it more broadly. Here's a one-up. Don't put anyone on the spot. Instead, give them notice so they can prepare. Or, if you don't use someone's ideas, explain why. Number three. Give credit where credit is due. Someone isn't comfortable sharing with the group? Make sure the idea is still communicated. And give them credit. Alternatively, if you're dealing with a tougher crowd, you can wait until the room has buy-in, then reveal whose idea it was. But this tactic is less ideal. Number four, validate what they say. You don't have to agree with everything that is said, but you do have to respect the value of other people's opinions. Your team looks to you to model expected behavior, so show respect. Number five, Use your power. If you're in the room, make sure other people are listening. Also, be mindful of your language. Don't undermine anyone and be careful about using humor as things can easily take a wrong turn. And lastly, number six, stay humble. Your experience is no more important than someone else's. So check your own personal bias. Bring in outside sources to keep your biases in check as well. The bottom line is, what people from different backgrounds say matters, so listen. It's not their responsibility to change your mind, but it is up to you to understand where people are coming from. Anyone that comes from a marginalized group constantly has to explain why what they think is valid, while people of privilege almost never have to defend what they think. It truly should be the other way around, so do your part in making the change. That's this week's episode of Press Start Leadership Podcast. Thanks for tuning in. And as always, thanks for being awesome. Give us a follow, a like, a share, and even a review if you feel like it. We'd really appreciate it. Cheers.
If you haven't downloaded my free ebook, Five Heroic Leadership Skills, click on the link in the description. Tune in next week for your next episode of Press Start Leadership Podcast. Thank you. Oh, hi there. The episode's over, but thanks for sticking around till the end. If you're on the quest to elevate your team's leadership, production, or game design capabilities, I'm here to assist. Leveraging extensive experience and a strategic approach, I offer personalized audits, bespoke workshops, and leadership retreat facilitation to drive your team toward excellence. My commitment is to provide efficient, reliable, and proven support, ensuring you have the tools and insights needed to thrive. Ready to unlock your team's full potential and achieve unparalleled success? Don't hesitate to press start on your journey to transformation today. Feel free to reach out directly to discuss how we can tailor a solution to meet your unique needs and goals. Let's connect and take your team's performance to the next level.